What is going on, team? Uh, day 22. Oh, I wrote it wrong in the comments. <laughs> so it's day 22. I'm going to edit the post. Um, yeah, so hey, day 22. Uh, here we go. Start of week four. Um, man, uh, yesterday was uh, was rough on the lower body. So today um, we're going to target more of our upper body um, and, you know, going to do it the right way, but uh, going to do it and it's going to be good. Uh, morning. And um, yeah, so we're going to warm up a little bit with our, um, our AMRAP in the morning. Um, so we've got a sprinter stance deadlifts uh, for six per side. Then we'll do our shoulder circles leading with the elbows, uh, 1.5 squats and incline push up. So all of these we have done before. Um, we are very experienced with them. But a couple things we are not as experienced with are the staggered push ups. We've only done those twice. Um, and then we have some isometric dead bugs. And I um, just want to make sure that we have uh, all of our stuff put together for that. And um, then we go into isometric, isometric push-up hold. Um, and then we go into our a new one, very new one, uh, quadruped single arm wiper blades. Um, this is actually something that I kind of came up with. I don't know if I'm the... I, there's no way I'm the first person to do it, but uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to use the effects of gravity to really strengthen our back um, and our shoulder. Um, and then we're going to go into single leg active hold to give our upper body some rest because we're really targeting the upper body. And then we're going to do back flies to rear delt raises. Um, now I'm going to go through all of that after the warm up, but just give you a heads up uh, for what's to come. So hope everyone uh, has recovered nicely from yesterday. Um, Definitely make sure that you get your stretching in. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of really great stuff um, online as far as yoga or things like that. Um, also, walking really helps recovery. So go for a walk. Mm. Ah, love coffee. Um, but hey, let's get after it. I'm done talking. I don't want to hear myself talk anymore. So, uh, sprinter stance deadlifts. So, we've got our Sprinter stance here, 1.5, and then we are deadlifting. I might need to lower this ever so slightly. So we are going to be here, feet hip width apart, and we're just sinking that back and hinging, and then we switch sides. And you're going to lean slightly to that side. Then we're going to do our forward shoulder rotations, and then back. Um, these are 15 each direction. Then we go into our 1.5 squat. So we're here. No tempo on these. Just make sure that you are getting those glutes nice and activated. And then we'll go into incline push-ups um, to warm us up for all the push-up stuff. But if you have a bed or a bench or a counter or the wall, you can get some good action in but I'm gonna be here notice I'm not way back here trying to push into it I'm over my shoulders so that see how my arms come to a 90 degree angle Boom. then I'm engaging my pecs um, a lot of times people will engage more of their anterior delt because they are so much and in the chest um, hey hey so make sure a, a really good rule of thumb for push-ups. If you're here and you raise up, you'll immediately feel your anterior delt engage. Go lower than that. So you'll feel it up and then just get a little bit lower. And then, hey, look, I'm right in my chest. Cool. So team, uh, let's get after this warm-up. Uh, spinner stance, shoulder circles. Uh, we've got our 1.5 squats and incline push-ups, four minutes on the clock. And I'll count out time, and uh, here we go. So, sprinter stance, we have six of these per side. 
Again, warming up, we're just warming up. You can get a little more dynamic with it as we go. And we switch here, here. You'll notice we've been doing a lot of hinging motions. Our hips hinge and a lot of times, switch it to here, a lot of times with hip hingement, um, people don't know how to do it. Um, when in actuality, it's one of the six foundational movement patterns and we probably hinge our hips more than anything else. And go back. We use our hips so much more than we realize. And so we need to make sure that the musculature around our hips, especially in our glutes, our posterior chain, is able to move. And we're going into six 1.5 squats. So it's down, slightly up, back down, up. Okay, good. Four, five, and six. Now I'm gonna go here, 15 seconds of incline push-ups. I'm not going fast. I'm just giving myself a little bit of a challenge here. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch it to the sprinter stance deadlifts. So that's round one. Um, we're gonna go for four minutes here. We're at we have two fifteen left. Four, five, six, switch legs. But you'll notice as we do these movements, they're very natural. They are very much, once you learn them, they become very natural and they're very much ways in which we move our body. And that's what I love about the six foundational movement patterns and training them is that it's what we do on a daily basis. So why wouldn't we train that way? Why wouldn't we train for the way that we live our lives? Yeah, I don't know. I think it makes sense. Two, one, and backwards. So make sure you're not too low or too high. You know, right in that sweet spot. Elbows barely getting up to 90 degrees. And five, four, three, two, one, and 1 1.5 squats. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 15 seconds here. So you don't have to go all the way down like I am. If you just get here, that's fine. Do what you can, okay? It's your range of motion, not mine, all right? I'm just merely guiding, three, two, one, and sprinter stance. So if you need to modify the push-ups, if you need to do them on a counter or the wall, whatever it is, just make sure that you're engaging your chest, not so much your, your shoulders, and we'll switch. And then that way you can start progressing from there, okay? Four, five, six and we're going to end going to the back because we have five four three two one and rest all right so that was our four minute warm-up boom 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 um hope everyone is feeling good uh nice and warmed up nothing too strenuous um again we've we've got a lot today uh, especially for our upper body, um, give our lower lower body a bit of rest. Um, the only thing that we have for our lower body today is our single leg active hold. Um, isometric dead bugs will use our legs, but not very much. Um, that's not your legs aren't the prime mover in the uh, in that workout. So um, we will have 21 minutes on the clock. We're gonna go for six rounds, as many reps rounds as possible, then rest a minute. Then six, rest a minute, six, rest totally. Um, <clears throat> you might need to modify. So um, I made it 
uh, I made a comment earlier um, when I posted this workup. If you need to modify, think of ways to reduce the amount of gravity you are forcing yourself to push away from the ground. So for instance, push-ups on the ground here are gonna be a lot harder than here. And this is gonna be a lot harder than here, okay? If you're just doing these, that's awesome. Just do those, okay? I don't want you to think, you don't have to do everything that I'm doing. We're not training the same way. We're not, we don't have the same goals. So we need to modify according to where we are at. Cool, and some of you are probably stronger than I am. You can probably do more than I can. Awesome, I'm just guiding, so do your thing. Um, but that being said, for our staggered push-ups, you know, we're gonna go for 10 seconds. Each time that we do these, we wanna switch uh, which is our starting arm. So for the first time, I'm gonna be here, right, right hand forward, so it's here. Okay, and then here. So this arm, the bottom arm, is in line with my pec. This one is a little bit higher than shoulder, okay? Like you're about to ask a question, but you're not really sure if you should. Been there. So, barely ask that question here, and you just go for 10 seconds, however many you can. If you need to go to your knees, go to your knees. If you need to be here and stagger, do that then switch, okay? We can always modify, we can always make it easier for ourselves because not everybody's at the same level and we need to know how to adjust accordingly. Cool. So then we go into isometric dead bugs, five per side with a three second hold. What that means is that each extension, we're gonna hold for three seconds. So when I am here and then I go back, I'm gonna hold two, three, switch, hold, two, three, switch. That's one per side. We have four more of those. Okay, so those will get tough. Then we go into our isometric push-up hold. You are gonna hold a push-up for 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh, so literally, that's it. You're just gonna be here, hold, okay? After about five seconds, you're gonna start shaking and feeling it, or you might feel it at one second. But we're gonna do our best if we need to modify here. If we need to modify here. I'm guessing by the end of this, I'll need to start modifying here or go to um, on my knees. So yeah, it's gonna be tough. Um, then we go into quadruped single arm wiper blades. Uh, I really, I had this idea um, this morning and I was like ooh I want to add that so all it is is you're going to take your arm and do this with it however you're going to be in a quadruped position so I'm going to be here and I'm going to resist gravity and just wipe for 15 seconds and this is right after the isometric cold so this will get a lot of blood flowing back in our shoulders and then I'll switch, and I'm keeping that in line with my shoulder the whole time, okay? I'm just a wiper blade, but because gravity is trying to pull my arm down, I have to actively use the back of my shoulder to hold it up throughout that full range of motion. Cool, we'll see how it works. Um, then we go into single leg active hold here. Be active with it. So you're in a nice kind of seated position so you can see see i'm sitting here just holding 20 seconds that's going to be the biggest rest portion of this and then back flies so we have our back flies we all remember back flies and then we're going to go from here straight into here with a rear delt raise so your rear delt sits back here we're gonna raise it that way so it's here 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 okay that's all together but the goal is to pull that back okay again don't push your neck forward here 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 okay all body weight 
whole body weight, all pain. <laughs> um, anyhow, team, any questions out there before we get started? I'm going to grab a quick sip and then I'm, I'm ready to go. Hopefully you are too. Um, during the six minutes, I'm not really going to be able to answer any questions. So I want to see if there are any prior to us jumping in and, and we'll hang on to our, hang on to our hats. Okay, no questions. All right, cool. So I'm I'm a perfect teacher. Aha. So I'm gonna take that. <laughs> um, team, hey, uh, let's get after it. Six minutes. We're going twenty or ten seconds here, ten seconds here for our staggered push-ups. Then we go into isometric dead bugs, push-up hold for fifteen, wiper blade for fifteen, wiper blade for fifteen, single leg active hold for twenty each side. And then back flies, rear delts uh, for 40 seconds. All right, let's get after it. Three, two, one, staggered push ups. Here we go, 10 seconds. To go at your own pace, I'm just going to try and do what works for me. And four, three, two, one, switch sides. One. Oh yeah, today's gonna hurt. Four, three, two, one, and flip over. So we're here, and one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three. Nice work, nice work. Keep your core tight. Three, two, three, three. Two, three. Movements become a lot harder when you have to stabilize and hold them. That's why we do so much of it. Two, three, last one. Five, two, three, other side. Five, two, three. All right, 15 second push up hold. Here we go. Nice and at 90 degrees. Oh man, I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> Do your best. Go to your knees if you need to. We have five, four, three, two, one, and up. So windshield wiper blade, 15 seconds. We're going to switch which one we start on every time so that we don't do the same thing after the isometric push-ups. Cool. Feel this range of motion. Resist gravity. Two, one switch stay in a nice table you're gonna start feeling your shoulders a bit three two one and single leg active hold i'm gonna start on my right 20 seconds Nice job, team. 10 more seconds. Not so bad to start. Still got a lot left to go. Two, one, and switch. Good work, good work. Stay nice and nice and tight through here. Keep that core tight. Okay. You're probably three, two, one and back flies to rear delts okay so we're going here for 40 seconds so it might not feel like much right now might be like why am i doing this give it another 20 seconds and then you're going to be like dear god why am i doing this yeah. just wait for it and especially at the end of our rounds it'll make more sense Good job, good job. 20 more seconds. And make sure you get a good pinch in the back there. Pinch it, pinch it. I like to imagine I have like some coconuts or something in my hands so I can just create tension. It's going to help more of my muscles and the motor units work and Rest, or I'm sorry, switch it to staggered push-ups. Here we go, uh, left side to start, 10 seconds. 
If you can only go halfway, just go halfway. Three, two, one, switch. Here we go. Nice work, team. Nice work. Two, one, and switch it. Dead bugs. Here we go. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Stay strong. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Make sure that you're punching the single arm up. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Two more. Two more per side. Three, two, three. Last set. One, two, three, and one, two, three. We have a minute left. A minute left in round one. Push up, hold. 15 seconds. Here we go. Do your best. Adjust where you need to, okay? You got this. Four, three, two, one, up. And so now we go left arm first. Fifteen seconds here. Stay nice and long through this bottom arm and switch it. Good work, good work. Make sure you get full range of motion here. Three, two, one, and single leg active hold. Oh, no, rest. Rest for a minute. Nice. First round. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice work, team. All right. That'll be a good one. That'll be a good one. So that was six minutes. So heart rate's up a little bit. We got 45 more seconds of rest. Um, if you need to demodify, again, switch it up to a bed. Um, be sure to you know go to the wall if you need to. Um, not too terrible yet. But again, that's where you know the more we do movements, the a the better we get at them. But also the more repetitions that our body has to go through to continuously do the same movements while fatigued will only become harder and harder. Um, so we have 15 seconds. Uh, we are going to start with our single leg active holds. And we're going to start on the left leg. Four, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Nice and active here. 10 seconds. So don't just be super high. Get nice and crouched with it. Don't have to go super low, but we want to be active, actively holding and switch it. So I'm here, not here or here. I'm here, right? See how my body naturally hinges? That's where we want to be. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Back flies to rear delt. Okay. Make sure you're breathing. Go at your own pace. Give it a pause if you want so that you can really activate the musculature in your back and in your shoulders. Good work. We still have another 12 seconds. Should start feeling that a little bit. Four, three, staggered push-ups right into them. One, and here we go, right side first, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, switch it. Good job. Three, two, one, and dead bugs. Three second holds. And one, two, 
three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three. Make sure you're reaching with that bottom leg. Keep it stable. Two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. Last one. Five, two, three. Five, two, three. Push up, hold. Here we go. And 15 seconds. Make sure you are over your chest. This will be very painful if you are not. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And windshield wipers. Here we go. Good job, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch. Good work, team, good work. 10 seconds. Two, one, and active hold, here we go. Right side to start. Cool. Shake out your arms if you need to. All right. We're just going to keep getting better, team. That's all we're here for. And we go five, four, three, two, one, switch. And if you need to balance here, you know, use something to adjust. We really want to have good coordination and balance. Um, we want to make sure our feet are nice and strong. Um, but if you need to balance, go ahead. Make sure you're not opening your hips up. Keep them square right in front of you. Three, two, one. And we go into our back flies to rear delts. Good job, team. Good job. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. We all need to do it. Breathing is important. Good job. 20 more seconds. Again, think of creating tension in your hands. And just so you know, so palms are facing forward when you do your rear delts. And staggered push-ups. Here we go, we got one minute left. Left arm first. Two, one, switch. Ooh, feeling it. Three, two, one, dead bugs. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, three, three. Four, two, three. We're going to end on these. Four, two, three. One more per side. Two, three and switch it one two three rest one minute of rest so probably going to start feeling your shoulders a little bit move them around don't let them just flop shake them out a little bit do the chicken dance come in here work the runway that whole thing and breathe. Breathing, again, very important. Uh, 30 more seconds of rest. Then we go into our last round. Um, not too terrible, but we're really going to feel our shoulders after today. Might not seem so bad during, after delayed onset of muscle soreness or DOMS is probably going to kick in. So really get some mobility in your shoulders. We're going to get a good stretch on. 
All right, isometric push-ups. Or isometric hold. Three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> Keep that core tight. Squeeze your glutes. Just do your best here. Do your best. Three, two, one. And up. And we're going left side first. 15 seconds here. Four, three, two, one, switch it. Whew. Four, three, two, one, active hold, left leg. Good job, team. Good job. This is our last round. Good work. Good maintenance and upper body challenger today. Three, two, one, and switch. Stay nice and low so that your stabilizers really have to, you know, control what the rest of your body is doing and where you want to go. Putting your leg back will create a different challenge forward to the side to the other side don't have to get fancy with it and rest those are just some ways that you can challenge yourself should you need it oh back flies to rear delts good job team pretty sure my computer's on a slant so if you see my left arm going higher than my right or vice versa i'm looking at a weird slanted image of me good work good work these guys should start to be setting in grab your coconut four three two one staggered push-ups left side Good job, team. Three, two, one. Switch it. Right into it. Right into it. Three, two, one. Oh, really feeling those. Really feeling those, team. Great work. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Two more each side. Four, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. Good work, good work. Five, two, three. All right, isometric push and pull. Here we go. We only have two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes left, team. Good work, good work. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right arm wind windshield, or wiper blade. Four, three, two, one, switch it. This might be harder on the arm holding me up than it is on this one. But this is going to get us good mobility and range of motion. Three, two, one. Single leg active hold, right leg. 20 seconds here. When we're done with this, we'll have one minute left. All right? So let that fuel you. We're gonna end with our staggered push-ups. Three, two, one, switch. So we're gonna get through our back flies and rear delts and we're gonna bust out 10 seconds and 10 seconds. And then 
We will be done. Shake out your arms. Four, three, two, one. Back flies, the rear delts really pull back, pull back. Twenty seconds. Good job. You don't have to have arms totally straight. Elbows can be bent ever so slightly. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right side to start. Here we go. Last ten of these, and then ten on the left. Four, three. Don't you give up. Two, one. Modify where you need to. Ten seconds. Here we go, here we go. As many as you can. Go, 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 go. Four, three, two, one. Rex. Oh, Rex. Oh. Ah. 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 Ow. Hands overhead, shake them out, shake out their shoulders. Got a good, good sweat going. Um, ow, ow, yeesh. So, yeah, that hurts. I'm gonna let the timer count down, 15 seconds. Do what you need to do until then. Grab your water, have a sip. Ah, my shoulders. If your uh, forearms are hurting, it's, it's understandable. Rest. So, that's the workout, y'all. Um, love being home alone so I can scream. <laughs> uh, Sally Ann, I'm deeply sorry. I, I love you, but like, I'm sorry, not sorry. Hope that's okay. Uh, well, I'm trying not to be too loud because I don't want to disturb anybody else in the house. <laughs> because yeah, I kind of want to scream too. Um, team, that was, uh, that was the workout. Make sure that we, make sure that you flap. <laughs> that was funny. Um, we're going to do some nice full range of motion here. So nice and slow. This isn't fast. We're not whipping it. Just really feel the full movement. All right. Oh, my right arm. My right arm's more sore than the left. Dang. For those of you wondering, I'm right-handed. So that was why that was curious for me. Your shoulders might crinkle and crack. It's okay. Um, typically, that's from ligaments rolling over bones, so it's nothing. Unless your doctor tells you it's something, don't take too much stock into it. Um, of course, if it's painful, then yeah, let's uh, let's definitely get that checked out. But oh, nice back and forth here. Oh my gosh, crank them back. Nice and big. Oh, my shoulders. Who did this to what? Oh, it was me. Sorry. Oh, shake that out. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some some hips in here. My lower back is a little bit tight from yesterday too. Um, we're gonna rotate. Nice and easy. Don't crank on your back. Just nice and easy. Then you can subtly. Like, see how I'm turning on the ball of my foot here? You can start turning into it a little bit more, give you a little bit greater range of motion. Um, I'm also going to show you the quadruped T-spine stretch. Um, we're going to put our hand on the back of our head. If I'm in a plank or in a tabletop, I'm going to take this elbow to this nook of my forearm or the opposite side of this elbow and then rotate back and up, okay? So I'm going to be here, 
quadruped, hand on the back, elbow to the sky, elbow to the sky. My lower back stays stationary. I am not trying to rotate my hips. My lumbar spine, the last chunk of your back of your spine stays neutral, okay? So this isn't a range of motion contest. This is just, hey, let me move my body through my active range of motion. You'll know when you can't go further. Your body's going to not move. Don't fight it, okay? We're just greasing the chain and opening up some more flexibility and mobility, okay? So we're here. We're just going to do five per side. And you'll notice that each time you might be able to go a little bit further, but then ultimately, like I'm, I'm stuck here. I can't go further than that. So I don't try and push past it. I just move on and I see if this side's any better or if it's the same. You'll have one side that's typically better. Yeah, nice. Then let's come up here into child's pose. So I'm gonna feet together. I like opening up my pelvis so that I can really reach through. Um, but you're sitting with your butt on your heels and then you're gonna reach out. Take some deep breaths into your lower back. You can sway side to side just to feel that out. You can also do this like on the bed and rock side to side and get all of this stretching. If it doesn't feel like it here is going to be destroyed. So rest. Don't have to do another workout today. I know you're in quarantine and you're working out all the time, but also understand recovery is super important too. So, hey, team, uh, great day today. I uh, love you all. Hope you have a great Thursday. I have no idea what day it is. Um, but hey, day 22. What up, team? We're still crushing it. Um, I put together week four. I'm finishing that up um, today. It's going to be going to be a good week of resiliency and strength. So those are gonna be our focuses today. So more of the isometric holds will be uh, programmed. Sorry, not sorry. I love you all, have a great day, bye.